Hi, my name is Martha Cole. I'm a historical specialist here at the Montana Historical Society. And when I was asked about my favorite objects, I started thinking about what I really love about uh, material culture. I like things that make me think about the world in a different way, make me question and wonder, and that are a little whimsical. And that brought me to this amazing beaded bag. Um, we don't know much about it. Uh, we know it was created in the circa 1940. Uh, the museum catalog suggests that it might be Salish, but there's a question mark by that. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's surprising. I think people, when they think of Montana, they don't think of elephants. Um, and when they think of Montana Indians, they don't think of elephants. And um, that's one of the reasons I like this. I think that we tend to, when we think of Indian history, we tend to kind of place Montana Indians in this idealized past that's unchanging. We tend to think of Indian culture as static. And in fact, like all cultures, it, they changed and evolved, and people responded to the things that they saw around them, and the new things took on new technologies, and retained things that were of value, like the skill that it took to make this beaded piece. Um, and also, I just think elephants are cool. Um, and one of the things uh, that I think will surprise people is that they're more common uh, back then. It would have been more common for someone to see an elephant, like the maker of that bag, than um, it is today. So for example, we have this great picture uh, that's also in our collections that was published in our textbook of a circus parade um, going through the streets of Billings from the 19 teens. So it's quite possible that the maker of this bag saw elephants. Um, it's quite possible that she just thought that they were cool. Alternately, she could have been making it for the tourist trade, um, someone like me who likes whimsy. So uh, we don't know. Um, we can make up stories, some of them happy, some of them sad, about the maker. Uh, but we do have this fabulous little uh, slice of history.